Aloha, everybody. This is Kathy Belsky, the Quantum Leap, Let Light Unite show on UPR and radio. And this is Friday night, May 31st, 2019. Woo! Well, I have to say this. Um, we're going to do some energy work tonight because I, the, Trump is nuts. And, you know, I really don't know about you guys, but I'm not looking forward to having Nazis stay in power. And, you know, the United States goes down. A lot of you other countries are going to go down. So let's not have that happen. We're going to do energy work tonight. Um, uh, I do have to tell you this positive thing, though, and this really, really gave me the giggles. You know, the Nazi Steve Bannon, come on, you know the Nazi Steve Bannon he used to work with Trump, and then they had a fight, and he kicked him out. So he tried to go all over um, Europe and pull all the Nazis together. So he went to Italy and rented this medieval castle, and he was going to open up, are you ready for this, a neo-Nazi academy. Okay, well, guess what? Italy kicked him out and said, nope, not happening. Adios. Yay. So that is um, for one for life. Nazi zero. Who says light work doesn't work? And you got to take the wins as they come. You know what I mean? Just want to remind you guys, July 2nd, quantum leap the world into enlightenment. We're going to pull together as a group. We really need a quantum leap, don't you think? So put that on your calendar. It'll be 6 o'clock. Eastern time, and for one hour, we're going to chant and really anchor enlightenment to the planet. And you know, the basic chant may divine enlightenment descend on everyone now, may divine enlightenment awaken within everyone now. And we say that three times, and then we tweak it a little bit for the hour so that you just don't say that for the whole hour. But the more light we can pull on and down and anchor to the earth, the farther into the age of enlightenment we're going to go. And I really want to quantum leap this time, don't you? I mean, aren't you tired of all this shit? Aren't you tired of Trump and Nazis and liars and people in the government and men going after women like it's the 1700s or I don't know what, even farther back, for God's sake. You know, the patriarchy has got to stop. You know, this is not acceptable. And the only way we're going to change it is by doing energy work. So um, go get your crystals. And tonight we're going to work on HARP. And if you don't know what the HARP is, that's the military installations all over the planet that really mess up with the earth. And they create weather and you can't tell me that in the United States when there's five to ten tornadoes that all of a sudden appear in one town. And it's very destructive. That that's Mother Nature. You know, guys, we are at war. And there's people out there. It's weather wars. Everyone's got a weather machine these days. Russia does. And if you don't think Russia is not directing their machine at us, as well as going after our government and anything it can, it is. And part of it is weather wars. And by the way, the Japanese Yakuza, and if you don't know what that is, that's the Japanese model. They have a weather machine too, and you don't think they're a little pissed from what the United States did to them in World War II? with dropping the nuclear bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Ah, no retaliation for that. Matter of fact, they are getting retaliating back to the whole planet, matter of fact, because they've got the nuclear disaster at Fukushima going on. It's been going on for eight years. And we're all breathing radiation, and it's killing everybody, unless we do our energy work to shift it. But that's what's happening. So we're having weather wars, and, you know, we're losing. 
the United States is getting its ass kicked. And I'm not saying that the United States shouldn't for all the crap it has done to other countries. But it is still my country and I really hate to see it happen. And when it's not mother nature, it's not okay. Because mother nature when you allow her to move with her own free will, she moves. And she's very selective on who she hurts and, I mean, what she takes and what she destroys and what she takes back and who she avoids. But this stuff, this is war. So a lot of them can use the harp, military installations for directing and creating weather. And again, remember when Katrina happened in New Orleans and two core hurricanes came and hit just about the same place? That is not Mother Nature. That's the harp. So we're going to work on the harp um, machines and everything that creates it. Um, we're also going to do energy work on men. Yeah. Uh, the military. God, we really need the military to reconnect with the creator. I mean, if you haven't seen what they have done anywhere on the planet, it's got to stop. They really need to be reconnected, so we're going to help those reconnect that are ready to and to shift so they can choose to not harm any longer. And because what's going on in our country and all this friggin' patriarchy coming up, and it's usually most of it's from the Republican Party. So we're going to work on the white male racists in the Republican Party and the unenlightened Democrats. I don't want you to think that I'm really, you know, keeping them out at all. So I'm trying to be all inclusive. If you want to do one, you might as well do them all, right? Mm-hmm. And, of course, we're going to work on Trump. And uh, the Nazis, Stephen Miller, who put together, God, everything, everything screwed up. Trump is doing now. It's Nazi-ish. You can thank Steve Miller from the immigration to tariffs to whatever. Um, and then we're going to work on Steve Bannon because he still is a Nazi. He's still breathing and trying to cause trouble and stir up the Nazis and really join them together, which is not a good idea. And how can we not do energy work without giving attention to Mitch McConnell, the turtle that is stopping everything in our country from going forward? This man is also in bed with the Russians. And the Russians, by the way, and I've mentioned this before, um, you know, there's this Nazi resurgence coming up all over the country. And guess who's funding it? Yeah, Russia and Putin. Nice guys, huh? So the Nazis in Russia, this time they are becoming in bed with each other. Not cool. Anyway, it's something to um, be aware of and to watch out for and to do energy work as much as we can to shift it and create, you know, a more enlightened. All right. So what we're going to do is hook up with the creator and then create bubbles of light in the center. We're going to put what energy work in there. And when I do the energy work, I'm going to ask that you do some creative visualizations while this is happening and then send energy into the bubble. We're going to put a big earth keeper underneath it. And if you have trouble uh, visualizing, as you see behind me is a huge crystal. That's my earth keeper at the store. It's a thousand pound celestial earth keeper. You can imagine that expanded where it's a hundred ton. We're going to put that under the bubble of light. All right, so let's do this. So for those of you who are ready, I want you to sit down, sit up as straight as you can, put your hands in your lap right now. And I want you to take some gentle, deep breaths. I want you to breathe in light and exhale out everything that no longer serves you. 
And imagine all that unwanted energy going through the violet flame back to God, and you fill up with your divine essence. So you breathe in light and exhale out everything that no longer serves you. And you imagine that going through the violet flame back to God, and you fill up with more of your divine essence Surround each and every one of you. I'm going to surround you in a bubble of golden flame. I'm going to add to that the blue flame of protection, the violet flame of transmutation, the green flame of healing, and I'm going to seal you in the pink flame of love. And I'm going to call to your teachers, guides, masters, and all the divine beings that are around us, around you, to join the circle that we're creating and amplify our work even more. So imagine we're in this huge stadium, and it's the largest stadium on the planet. We're all not only connected through our heart chakras, but in your mind's eye, imagine yourself, you've got people to the right and to the left, and you're holding their hands. So take one more deep breath and exhale out everything that's left in your body that no longer serves you, and it goes through the violet flame back to God. You fill up with more of your divine essence. Now I want you to imagine your silver antenna going up, the roof, the stars, the planets, and reconnecting to the creator. And as we reconnect to the creator, I want you to feel all this incredible high divine energy come pouring into your body, going all the way down your legs, out your feet, into the earth, down your arms, out your hands. Feel it flow down your spine. Feel yourself totally consumed in this divine energy. And now allow that energy to flow down your right arm to the person next to you. And we're creating a circle that goes to the right and inviting all the divine beings of light, all the gods and goddesses of light, air, earth, fire, and water, the divas, all the beings that are holding light on the planet. See them all adding their energy to what we're doing to amplify our work. And now we're going to send energy to the left. And as it flows to the left, the circle is now closed. So only that which is light may enter. So I'm going to ask that the trees join us and take the energy and send it into the earth through the roots. So the earth can be healed and move with divine intelligence. And then out through the branches so life forms to really feel this incredible high divine quantum leap energy we're putting out. Now we call to all the rock stones, crystals, minerals, all the earth keepers on the planet to lock in to this earth keeper in the center and amplify our work over a hundred thousand fold. We call to all the grids, ley lines, meridians, domes, obelisks, pyramids, all the sacred and holy spots on the planet. To lock in to this divine circle we're doing tonight. And I'm going to ask Mother, Father, God, and anybody who's joining us tonight, adding their energy to the light circle, receives a healing. And that you guide us into doing not our work, but thy work be done. So be it. I give thanks for this opportunity to serve. So I want to take a deep breath. And feel that energy come flowing into your crown chakra, that very high divine energy, down your arms, out your hands, out all your upper chakras, into the center. And we're going to form this incredible bubble of light. And we are going to start with all the harp installations. So let there be light. And then in the presence of God, which I am through the magnetic power, sacred fire vest in me, I command. So let's unite our creative energies and direct it at whatever is causing the high-pitched sound we now hear all the time and see all those facilities implode, breaking down, no longer able to function. So we call the Michael the Archangel to come forward with your sword of blue flame to cut all ties to all heart programs on the planet wherever they are located and cut all ties to every piece of equipment of the heart from whomever or whatever created you, no matter what material you're made out of, rock, mineral, plant, animal, extraterrestrial, based anything. As the ties are cut, I call the violet flame through all the elementals in the heart programs to cleanse and purify their energies of all negative vibrations they've taken on. 
see the violet flame transmuting and repurifying this energy back to light. We fill them up with the energy of the angel light. We heal them. We now reconnect connect all these elementals to the creator, seeing them fill up again with God's pure and divine love. Now we command them to be neutral, to not work, to break down, and to keep breaking down. We ask the angels to go forth and direct some of this energy at all the weak spots in the heart machinery and have permission to bend metal or move any loose wire that helps break the machines down doing so in a way where no one or anything will be hurt or harmed. We ask that all computers connected to the heart program start breaking down and all the information on them goes invisible as well with all their backup systems. We surround all the electrical equipment with such high energy that anyone that goes around them can't function and goes dyslexic. Just surround the equipment. Putting in wrong information that is just being forgetful, unconsciously making many mistakes in the heart programs with every action. We also call the higher selves of all people working on the heart in any way and ask that they now also become confused, forgetful, dysfunctional as soon as they enter the gates. Now imagine everyone that works there start to think that all the heart locations are haunted. Finding reasons to transfer out of the program to programs that are beneficial to humanity or go into the private sector, sector being replaced with no one at all. I called the Michael the Archangel Ganesha, the remover of obstacles, all the cosmic beings, and the creator. To cut all ties to all artificial plasma in the atmosphere that was heart reptilian created. That creates a mirror. As we cut the ties to their masters, we call the violet flame through all cells, atoms, molecules, DNA of this plasma to clean it up. Now we reconnect it, connect it to all to the creator, filling it all up with divine love. We command it to be neutral and no longer function. See the plasma breaking up and neutralizing itself. Let it not be able to form any square or ring frequency patterns. We're going to place a mirror in front of this mirror to return all signals and frequencies back to the harp stations. As this is done, we see all the harp equipment imploding on itself. All computers connected with the harp overloading with this energy that was sent back, causing many, many, many overloads. We're also going to call the Michael to cut the ties to any of the harp programs anywhere on the planet at any time, anywhere that's trying to open any portals to any kind of dimension, especially the one they tried to open up over my store. So as ties to those portals are cut, we're going to violet flame them. We're going to seal them, cement them solid, turn them invisible, and move them. And remember, they're now invisible, and they can no longer be found and open. They are closed forever. We command the elemental kingdom, beasts, snakes, flies, ants, birds, fleas, all bugs, and mold microorganisms to infest this harp electronic equipment. We also cut the ties to military buoys connected to the harp stations and their dark masters. We command that all these buoys be contained in the circle of cement with the lead overlay to jam all frequencies, placing all these buoys in a position of harmlessness. We command the goddess of truth to bring on all knowledge up to the people that can put these heart facilities in positions of harmlessness. And as the heart facilities break down, we see all life forms reconnect to the creator, becoming awakened, spiritual, divine, happy beings. And the earth going back to its natural energy pattern and cycle in a loving, kind way. All right, we're going to fill that up with light and love and take a deep breath and release it. I'm going to give thanks for this opportunity to serve. So we're going to take another deep breath. And as you inhale, feel that energy come pouring again into your body, out your hands, down your arms, out your hands, out your upper chakras. We're going to create another bubble of light. And in this bubble of light, we're putting all men, in this bubble, 
We call the higher selves of all men on the planet and ask for permission to do this work. In the name of the presence of God, which I am through the magnetic power of the sacred fire vested in me, I command. I call the higher selves of all men to open up a sacred space so they may step forward into the light, allowing themselves to be reconnected to the creator. Cut all the ties, Michael and Archangel and the Archangel and Shiva to unbalance, fear of women, patriarchy, genocide, rape, pillage, plunder, incest, greed, power, gladiator mentality, military war, might is right mentality from their energy field cells, atoms, molecules, all the way down to their DNA, going backwards and forwards through all their incarnations. As this energy is released, they call the violet flame through them and all their works that are misdirected. Cut all ties to all dark satanic art and negative ceremonies that are being done to keep men in a stuck patriarchal consciousness that allows them to manipulate humanity and the earth for greed and profit. As it's released, we call the divine male-female balance consciousness to be enhanced in their hearts and God part of the brain flowing through their bodies, touching every cell and a molecule, all the internal organs going all the way down into their DNA. And may this integration be gentle, loving, and kind. We call the higher selves of men to guide them through releasing all women slaves or anyone being used as slave labor, men, women, or child. Let us fill them up with divine respect for women, life, the planet, and all life forms, organic or inorganic. The men's higher selves guiding them to accepting divine matriarchy and opening their heart, throat, and crown chakras as they release all the old patriarchal, patriarchal thought forms that no longer serve anyone. As these centers open, see them being very balanced, loving, kind, generous, peaceful, supporting women and groups that are in the light. Let men awaken to their divine missions, bringing a lot of fulfillment and comfort that they're doing their hearts' callings, which brings about feelings of peace and contentment. Let men dream of all the past lifetimes that they've lived where men and women respected each other, treating each other with much compassion and kindness, living together in harmony, bringing that loving energy into the physical, putting it in all into practice in this current lifetime. Call the higher selves of all male groups that are suppressing women to step forward into the light. And if they choose not to step forward in the light, may the angels and the higher selves put them in a position of harmlessness. We call to all the balanced men on the planet to speak out against this repression. Defend all women and come to women's aid on all levels and see all men respecting the goddess within, giving freedom and honor to all women. See men allowing women to be equal, divinely conscious beings. We ask that the reptilian part of men's brains are closed down, down and the God brain is activated. May the goddess soften them to be gentle, kind beings. We ask that all ties and energy overlays to war and the glory of war be cut, removed from all men going backwards and forwards in time, hundreds of thousands of generations. We cut ties to the military and its blood-sucking energy on all men. As men, boys, and adults awaken, let them see how wars are a waste of time, energy, resources, their lives, and refuse to cooperate, becoming peaceful objectors. See men unwilling to neither fight, go to any wars, hurt or harm any person, no matter the race, color, or country. Let the divine replace those thoughts with how they can earn their livings in other ways that brings them much joy. Let men now be divinely inspired to be entrepreneurs, starting with their success, with successful innovating businesses that are in the light. We ask men's higher selves to help them get in touch with their hearts, their feelings, their emotions, becoming a nurturing, kind, loving, care, helpful, understanding, and intuitive man. We ask their higher self to step in and help men find quality family with their kids and their spouses, whether they're male or female. We ask that men be guided to their twin flames or divine mates, and when they meet, they recognize each other as their divine mates, their twin flames, whatever their true partner is, male or female. 
for all the balanced men, we ask that they be given much strength to be loving, living examples of men connected to the Creator. As we fill them up with extra divine energy, we ask the Creator to reward those caring men by sending them all their heart's desire. The men choose not to come forward and the light which is their free will. We ask the angels and their higher self to put them in positions of harmlessness. Now we're going to send divine positive movement and much gratitude for those who choose to keep evolving and growing in the light of the creator. And we're going to ask those men to come out and stand with women and help them shift this awful anti-abortion energy that's now going on in the United States. See men coming out and supporting women, and that brings them joy. All right, we're going to fill that up with light and love, and we're going to take a deep breath and release it. (coughs) Thanks for this opportunity to serve. All right, we're going to take another deep breath. I'm going to create another bubble of light as you exhale. And in this bubble of light, we're going to put in all the militaries on the planet. So let there be light in the name of the presence of God, which I am through the magnetic power, the sacred fire vested in me, I command. You call the higher selves of everyone in all militaries, foreign and domestic, to help you step forward in the light, reconnect with the creator, and become conscious beings. See all protesters as your family, friends, aunts, uncles, sons, and daughters, and lay down your weapons, choosing not to hurt or harm anyone. Call the higher selves of everyone in militaries worldwide, and I command that you be divinely inspired in ways of stopping and preventing war, and to put your energies toward more humanitarian efforts. That all research and manufacturing of all nuclear, electromagnetic, magnetic, laser, microwave, Star Wars type, chemical, biological, germ sound, or other scientific warfare is immediately halted and dismantled. I call the decision makers of the military worldwide and everyone in the militaries and command that you come forward in the light if you choose not to work for humankind, that your higher selves and the angels put you in a position of harmlessness and a light worker take your place or no one will at all. We ask the divine to awaken your spiritual being, allowing love, compassion, kindness, caring, peace, and divine love to flow through your body, mind, and spirit. We ask your higher selves to help you become conscious beings, able to see clearly all military commands that are given with the courage to refuse bullets, not kill, hurt, or harm any living being, refusing to go on kill missions, for you now see everyone as family refusing shots because you're not a guinea pig. We send all of you lots of divine courage to refuse to be redeployed. You are all supported by your family and friends for these conscious decisions. You choose to go AWOL, then go back and fight. May you all be invisible to all military and police authorities, able to hide in plain sight. We're going to call the higher self of all those in the military that are secretly Nazis and white supremacists. That their higher selves, let them be seen and be seen in a way that they are thrown out of the military and discharged. with an unfavorable discharge. We're going to call to all the elementals of war that they use, cutting them free from their misuse, cleanse them with the violet flame, reconnecting to the creator, and command the elementals to be neutral, misfire, not work, go off course, and choose not to hurt or harm any life form. All right, now we're going to send energy and love to all these beings that are in this bubble, everyone in the military, we're going to send it to their heart chakra and see their heart chakras open 
and then from their heart go to wherever they need healing body mind or spirit all right, we're gonna fill that up with light and love now. Take a deep breath and release it. And I give thanks for this opportunity to serve. All right, so take another deep breath and feel that divine energy again flow into your body. And we're gonna create another bubble of light. And in this bubble of light, we're gonna put in all the white male racists, the Republican Party, and the unenlightened Democrats in a position of harmlessness. We're gonna put them all in this bubble of light. So let there be light in the name of the presence of God, which I am through the magnetic power of the sacred fire of destiny, I am. Called Michael the Archangel, the call ties that the Republican party and unenlightened Democrats have any satanic black magic that is keeping them in power and all their ties they have to Russia. We cut all ties to all their money sources, including the Koch brothers, the Mercer family. We send this money energy back to God to clean it up. Now let's send all those money sources back to the poor and those that are standing up to the Republicans, <coughs> including all the, all the recall groups. We ask that these groups receive lots of donations and excited fresh volunteers to make the recall successful, replacing the Republican Party, the racist and unenlightened Democrats, along with the Trump administration with a compassionate kind, awakened spiritual beings. We remove all energy veils that are around all the people living in the United States who are keeping them from connecting to the creator to become awakened spiritual beings as they reconnect to the creator, see them becoming conscious beings seeing truth and through all the lies and deceptions as transparency is manifested. See, the mass is filled with all kinds of divine inspiration on how to remove the Republicans, the white racists, and unenlightened Democrats from office through political channels, holding special elections to remove them from office, replacing them with a human being light worker, filled with compassion for all life forms. <clears throat> We see the Republicans, the white racists, and unenlightened Democrats being recalled and removed from office now. We see the Republican, white racists, and unenlightened Democrats being recalled and removed from office now. We see the white racists and Republicans and unenlightened Democrats being recalled and removed from office now. Called Ganesha to place many obstacles in the way of the Republicans and the white racists and under white Democrats that want to create and implement programs that are not good for the earth or any life forms. Programs that are intended to hurt and harm the poor see them all falling apart. See their abortion agendas falling apart. As people awaken, see them going to their Republican and unenlightened Democrat representative and speaking their minds of discontent with all their agendas as the Republicans and unenlightened Democrats awaken, connecting them to the creator. So now it allows them to see the horror that they wanted to create and being inspired to create, correct it, the compassionate love of service for others. See them now funding all social programs, Meals on Wheels, including women's health care clinics, to name a few, and et cetera, et cetera. Cut ties to the fear of women and the obsessive need to control them. All by ourselves of all Republicans step forward into the light. We cut all ties, Michael, the Archangel, and Shiva to unbalance fear of women, abortion, obsession. Patriarchy, genocide, rape, pillage, plunder, incest, greed, power, gladiator mentality, military war, might is right mentality from their energy field cells, atoms, molecules, all the way down to their DNA, going through all their incarnations. As this energy is released, I call the violet flame through them and all their works are misdirected. Cut all ties to all black art and negative ceremonies that are being done and any will to manipulate humanity and the earth for greed and profit. And as it's released, we call the divine male-female consciousness to their hearts that will flow to the reptilian part of their brain. Call the rare cells to guide these Republicans, men and women, to release 
releasing all women slaves and anyone being used as slave labor. Let them fill up with divine respect for women, life, the planet, and all living things. See men's higher selves guiding them to accepting divine matriarchy and opening their heart, throat, and crown chakra. As these centers open, see them being very balanced, loving, kind, generous, peaceful, supporting women and groups that are in the light. Fill all these men with divine joy, divine mission, respecting the goddess within and giving freedom and honor to all women. See them becoming kinder and allowing women to be equal, divinely conscious beings. We're also going to cut all ties to all executive orders that Trump has written and retained in the office of the Great Seal. We violate flame them to clean up all their dark energies. Now we reconnect all those orders to the creator, command them to be neutral. No more forward movement. All black magic giving any of his executive orders, energy being canceled, cleared, and neutralized. We now see all Trump's executive orders being rolled back and stricken from the books. Cut all ties to Trump, Steve Bannon, Miller, McConnell, any complicit Republican, unenlightened Democrat, Putin, Nazis, and all their vision of reinventing the USA. We see this energy having all forward movement stopped, also dissolving completely. See all their Nazi Russian plans falling apart. The council cleared Trump and the Republicans' tax uh, bill, and we see it being neutralized and it being rolled back to last year's 2018 taxes. Call by yourself with Trump and all Republicans trying to keep him in power, set forward in the light of God stuff, acting like Nazi. Russian reptilians leaving all the social programs and citizens' rights intact. Roll back all laws that hurt the mass general public and the earth. We choose not to, which is your free will. We ask your higher selves and guardian angels, put you all in positions of harmlessness, letting awakened spiritual beings take your place. And if that means that they're recalled, then may the recall gain lots of forward movement now, or they may just choose to retire and spend time with their families. Call the higher selves of all law enforcement who want to reconnect to the creator, and as they become awakened spiritual beings, they say, see through Trump's plans and choose not to cooperate, siding with the people. Let them become more conscious of all the income and benefits the government has taken from them, choosing to instead to become the protector of the poor, standing down on all orders that is against the Constitution. And this brings them much joy and pride as they become good cops. We cut all addiction ties that Trump and the Republican Party and unenlightened Democrats have to greed, money, gold, and power. We cut all addictive ties Trump has for greed, power, adoration, and drive to become a dictator. Cancel clear, cancel clear, cancel clear. If it's for Trump's and Republicans' highest good that their karma is returned to them now for their actions against women, the poor, and the planet, then let it be done, which may include loss of money, all supporters of any kind and all power. Let their magic of protection be removed from around them and all their plans now. If it's for Trump's highest good and for the good of everyone in the USA, let him be tried for treason. And his family be sent to prison for all his war crimes against the people of the USA and the world. We see Trump, his family, and cabinet doing jail time for the treasonous actions. We see them all being removed from office in a way no one will be hurt or harmed, replaced with a compassionate humanitarian. We're going to send energy out to all the enlightened Democrats and awakened Republicans standing up for the earth and all life forms. May they be sent everything they need to be successful. May divine enlightenment descend on all Republicans, white racists, and unenlightened Democrats now. May divine enlightenment awaken within all Republicans, white racists, and unenlightened Democrats now. You can do this with me two, two more times. May divine enlightenment descend on all Republicans, white racists, and unenlightened Democrats now. 
may divine enlightenment awaken within all Republicans, white racist and unenlightened Democrats now. May divine enlightenment descend on all Republicans, white racists, and unenlightened Democrats now. Divine enlightenment awaken within all Republicans, white racists, and unenlightened Democrats now. All right, let's keep this going. We're going to do one more bubble of light. In this bubble of light, we got to do Trump. We're just going to do one group because we don't have time. So we're going to put Trump. Stephen Miller, Steve Bannon, Mitch McConnell, and Trump's whole family in this bubble of light. So let there be light in the name of the presence of God, which I am through the magnetic power of the sacred fire vest, me, I command. Call to all the crystals in Washington, D.C. area to amplify light and transparency everywhere in the capital. We ask the creator to remove all energy overlays that's keeping the public from seeing all the unnecessary expenses that the Trump family is creating that the public is paying for. See the mass general public demanding Trump to stop going on his many vacation trips to any of his golf courses, including Mar-a-Lago, pay for the trips himself, no longer using taxpayer funds for his golf trips or his Nazi rallies. See Trump having to pay all this money back to the taxpayers. We ask that all veils and overlays that are protecting any of Trump's kids, wives, or ex-wives from the public's eye and receiving their real justice are removed now. Let all their plans be brought to the surface in the way that Congress, the Senate, and the New York Southern District Courts take action. Strip them of their power they've been given by Donald Trump to replace with someone with international experience. Remove all protection magic that is protecting them from jail time for the, all their illegal practices of making money from the president's office. See all the appropriate state prosecuting attorneys pursuing the Trump family for all their past and present money laundering schemes. Let them be given prison time for their treasonous actions. We ask Trump's higher self to release his hatred of anyone that's not white going backwards and forwards through hundreds of thousands of his former lives. See all Trump's mob ties being severed and transmuted by the violent fire. So Trump can no longer pull from that crime syndicate energy. Whether it's Russian, Saudi, or American, let all Trump's mob secrets be brought up to the surface and revealed to all, allowing real justice to step in. Remove all magical overlays of protection around Trump so there's complete transparency on how he sexually abuses children and women. Let's send energy to all those women Trump has sexually abused in the past and present along with the energy they need to come forward to speak truth and be protected from Trump and Trump's followers. Call the higher selves of everyone in the United States that realize that Donald Trump, McConnell, Bannon, and Miller, and Donald Trump's family are a national security threat. He asks that every American needs to demand that their representatives, judicial and elected, stand up and insists that the Trump administration be suspended until the whole damn Mueller report is seen in its entirety. We ask Michael the Archangel to remove all overlays along with cutting ties and binds that Bill Barr has. The New World Order, Trump and the Catholic Church, which is keeping Barr from releasing the complete unredacted Mueller report. So we're going to call and ask that there's many whistleblowers to leak this info to the general public and the newspapers. We're also going to send a lot of energy to the Democrats. So they start taking action and not only impeach Barr, but disbar Barr so he can no longer be an attorney. Call to Archangel Michael to remove all overlays of magic that's keeping the Congress and Senate from standing firm and putting Trump on presidential timeout now, impeached and removed from office, as well as Pence. We cut all ties and binds that Trump has to the KKK, Nazis, and all white nationalism, and the Nazi racist Stephen Miller, Bannon, and of course McConnell. Let's call the violet flame through all this energy to transmute all hate. See all Stephen Miller Trump's Putin immigration plans falling apart as well as Miller being removed from his office in the White House. 
If Trump has Hitler's genes and bloodline, we now cut those ties to Hitler, the past and violet flame, all that energy replaced with light. We ask Trump's higher self to now let him reconnect to the creator so he becomes an awakened spiritual being who now is no better than to hurt or harm. Again, if Trump refuses, which is his free will, we ask his higher self to put him in a position of harmlessness now. Let us try and buy the god and goddess of war and chaos and all chaos magic attached to Trump and the Republicans. See the chaos magic neutralizing to nothing, having no power. See all Trump's evil programs being reversed and repealed. See Trump's barren tax be repealed and replaced with the tax rate for 2017. See Congress and Senate making Donald Trump show all his tax returns. Let Paul the Ganation remove all obstacles. Remove all blocks that are keeping Trump's taxes from being released. Let all the truth come to the surface about Trump and everything he's trying to hide. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. And we're going to call the higher self again of uh, the Democrats to start moving forward and start doing jail time for people that are ignoring their subpoenas. Put them in jail and withhold their money, withhold their salaries until they comply. See all satanic magic that is keeping the Trumps in power be neutralized. See all overlays of Nazi evangelical magic removed from Trump and his family. And McConnell and Bannon and Miller, it's time for the Trump and all these people to be replaced, impeached, removed from office, replaced with a human light worker. That will bring balance, bring a new divine balance to the United States, one that we've never had before, is new and improved, and it's full of light. Fill that up with light and love, and we're going to take a deep breath and release it. And thanks for this opportunity to serve. All right, one quick one, um, more bubble, and we're going to close. So take another deep breath, fill this bubble up with light and love. We're going to put in all the light workers in this bubble, all the spiritual warriors, all those that are standing against the Nazis, standing up to Trump, that are standing and talking, standing up for the immigrants, the immigrants' kids that are in concentration camps. They're standing up for the earth. And this includes all you guys, all the spiritual warriors, all the people that are doing works of good, all the people that it's their spiritual mission to go out on the street and protest. Put them all in this bubble. We're going to ask Michael to cut all ties to any dark energy that's around them. And as it's peeled off, see them filling up with so much light that they're now magnets for everything they need, more people to work with, that will help them fulfill their divine missions. They're filling up with so much divine abundance that they have enough to pay off all their bills, to fulfill their divine missions, and to share with others. They have enough to move forward in joy. Let them be giving all their divine missions, their divine purposes. And fill them up with joy. See the light working groups setting aside their egos and coming together and sharing information and light really quantum leaping forward. Put in the energy of quantum leaping the world into divine enlightenment. And see it really, really snowballing into something really big for July this year. All right. Anybody that's sick, put them in this bubble. Let them be recharged and regenerated and set what they need to heal. So we're going to fill this up with light and love and take a deep breath and release it. We give thanks for this opportunity to serve. So we're going to close and we're going to do three ohms, okay? Real quick. Oh. 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 Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. May all the beings in all the worlds be happy. So be it. Mother and Father, Divine, thank you for bringing us together and giving us this wonderful opportunity to serve. 
And I'm going to ask that everybody is filled with joy and abundance this week. Lessons are gentle, loving, and kind. And they receive a healing and that you guide us into doing that. Our will that they will be done. So be it. Okay, everybody, got to ground, put the crystals down if you're holding it. And if you got hematite, that stone, grab it. Feel there, put your feet flat on the ground. Feel the earth energy come up your feet, your legs. Feel yourself pulling in body, becoming very, very centered, very back in body, very, very clear headed. And with every breath, feel yourself becoming more centered, more back in body, even more clear headed. You're filled with all these new possibilities. So thanks for tuning in tonight. And if you're still lightheaded after the show, you can go out and put your go hug a tree. You know, put your hands out on the tree and just do it for 30 seconds. And imagine yourself sending all the excess energy into the tree for 30 seconds. And then ask the tree to send you energy back and you immediately ground. Now, if you want to feel like you're doing um, more than just this one hour, you can chant as much as you want. May divine enlightenment descend on everyone now. May divine enlightenment awaken within everyone now. May divine enlightenment descend on Nazis now. May divine enlightenment awaken within Nazis now. The more you do it, the more it's going to happen. Also, you know, on my Facebook page, I also do three days of live video, uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time, which is actually 4 o'clock Hawaiian time. So Monday, we're going to do chanting and the anchor that light for a timeline. Tuesday, um, if I have enough new information for Fukushima Tuesday, we'll talk about radiation. But definitely, we do more light work or and then Thursday, we do energy work for the planet and climate change. Remember July 2nd, for one hour, we're going to do chanting as one huge group. So get your groups together, mark your calendars. And if you go to my Facebook page, you know, and you ask me, I'll send you the chance of what you're going to do to make it really easy for you to follow along. This one hour of your life to see how far we can push the world into divine enlightenment if we all come together it can be really huge know any famous people get them to join in for goodness sake talk about enlightenment on twitter are you on my twitter page do i know you you know twitter me and let's get enlightenment going we can do it. And if it's not up to us, who's it going to be? And when? And what are we waiting for? The time is now. The longer we wait, the more the Nazis take over the planet, the more the dark side does. And we're just fighting back and forth. The quicker we go into world enlightenment, all that crap ends. We don't have to work quite that hard, at least not at them. And it's just up to cleaning up the earth. And that will be more fun. So that's July 2nd. So thanks for joining in. This is Kathy Bilski, the Quantum Leap, Let Light Unite on UPR and Radio. And this is Friday night, the 31st. And we're going into June 1st. Oh, my God. Half the year is over with. So have a lovely weekend. Stay in joy. Chant. May divine enlightenment descend on everyone now. May divine enlightenment awaken within everyone now. On that note, I'm going to say good night, aloha, and see you next week, unless I see you on my Facebook page. Aloha.